Hello everyone, Mr. Fuller here again with another math lesson. So this lesson will be on solving linear equations in the form ax is equal to b as well as x over a is equal to b. Um, so the first thing we want to know is before this, we, before you do this lesson, if you cannot remember your bedness, your uh, order of operations or your rules on multiplying dividing integers, so that's minus, or negative numbers and positive numbers, um, please take a check or take a peek at my other video. It might help you out before we get into here if you get confused on that. So uh, I got four examples here for you, so we'll try it right away. In my classes, I always tell my students to keep the equal side sign uh, on an up, up and down barrier. So um, don't try to do any other equations. We want to keep um, the left side the exact or the equal to the right side. So one of our rules for doing that is whatever we do to the right side, we can do the left side and keep it equal. Okay, so um, if we look at this first example, this is what we have is we have um, a 4x is equal to negative 20. The 4x is actually, um, if we think of it, is it's 4 times by x. So when we do these equations, we're allowed to do anything we want to the equation as long as you do it on both sides. Um, it's just kind of like if you have a balanced scale and you have, um, even if we, we draw it like this, and we have four dollars on here and we have two two dollars on here if we take two dollars away here well the four will sink so we have to take two dollars away here and then it will be even again so as long as we do it to both sides it's still going to be balanced it's not going to fall to either side um, so let's try this first example so four times x is equal to negative twenty so the opposite of four times is going to be divided by 4. And the line there just means divided by. So now we have 4 divided by 4. 4 divided by 4 is just 1. So we have 1x is equal to, well, if we divide by 4 on this side, we've got to divide by 4 on this side. So we have a negative divided by a positive, which is a negative. 4 divided by 20 is negative 5. Now, one anything, we don't need to write that again. So it's 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times happy face is just happy face. So 1 times x is just going to be x. So as you can see, there we solved 4x. If you want to just take a little note here, again, my equal sign is always parallel. It's not straying off to the side. Um, then it's just easier to solve. So we did the we did our, our first divided by 4 right here, and then we did it both on the same side, so we can see that we're doing it on both sides of the equation. It makes it a little bit easier. Okay, for this next example now, I'll just write it out in my own handwriting. So x divided by 3 is equal to negative 12. So now we have x divided by 3 is equal to negative 12. So the opposite of dividing by is times by. So if we times this side by 3, we get 3 times x is equal to 3x and then it's still divided by 3 so I'll write that in so we have 3x divided by 3 and that is still equal to I'll keep the equal sign there equal to negative 12 3 divided by 3 oh and don't let me forget if I times it by 3 on this side I got times it by 3 on this side times it by 3 on this side so now 3 divided by 3 well that's just 1 so that's just x and negative 12 times 3 is going to be negative 36 and we get our answer um, and you can see our equal sign is still straight down the middle so we'll do a couple more examples here and hopefully that will help you out um, and for my classes if you're watching this for our test uh, which is tomorrow as I'm making this um, please note do, do it exactly as I'm doing it with the uh, putting the times by 3 on both sides don't try to go 12 times 3 just underneath here and the, without the equal sign because it won't make sense for, for your grades. So again this one is 5 times x is equal to 35 so the opposite of times by is divided by so we'll divide it by 5. And I know in my class sometimes students will ask me um, well why divide it by 5? Well 
we divide by 5 because we want to make this x all by itself um, so we can solve we know what it is x is equal to um, and that 5 is causing us issues so if we take it out 5 divided by 5 will give us 1 we always want to get down to 1 because 1 times anything is just itself so whatever you do to that side we got to do this side so 5 divided by 5 is x 35 divided by 5 is 7 that one was pretty simple <coughs> Okay, excuse me. Uh, okay, and we'll do our last one. X divided by negative 4 um, is equal to 28. So I always like writing the divided ones out a little bit bigger so I can fit my numbers. So X divided by 4, the opposite of divided by negative 4 is times by negative 4. And whatever we do to that side, we have to do to this side. So now we have our 4s cancel out. So just get equal X. 28 times 4, which is going to be 112, positive and negative, negative 112. I think that's right anyways. I think that's right. Um, anyway, so hopefully this helps out. If you want some extra practice, you can definitely go to uh, mrjfuller.com um, and you can go to the extra practice sessions to get some questions. Um, and thank you very much.